Hey buddy, Nathan here with Samson Farms and thanks for coming back to the homestead. Today, right this second we're inside the greenhouse, I want to give you a little bit of an update in here on how things are growing and how they're doing. Last week I potted up a lot of peppers in the solo cups and uh, got some footage from over the weekend where we plowed our garden spot. We tried doing it with just a tiller on the tractor but it was too hard, it broke a tooth off one of the tiller tines. So we plowed it, we dissed it, and then we tilled it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to show y'all that as well, but, oh yeah, I got a pepper here that's about five inches, and it's grown about an inch in two days, but it's got blossoms on it, guys. Oh yeah, got a lemon starburst peppers here. This one's getting over a little bit of overwatering, a lot of them are. Eggplants, more peppers. Look at there, blossoms. Look at that. Blossoms. I'll come back later and pinch them off. The tomatoes, some more peppers, some more. I potted up. These have to be potted up again, or be potted up here soon. On down. Which most of y'all know, I kind of went overboard with peppers, but there's 73 varieties of peppers in here. But I got a lot of plans for them. There's even a little bloom right there. We had a chicken live the other day that we ran for a few hours. And as you can see, all the chickens are doing great. Our cabbages are starting to look real nice. But here is that tooth off that tiller. It had been broke before from my dad and then this part was all that was holding it on and it just snapped it off. But here we go. This is the current size. Here in a day or two, when it dries out a little bit, I'll start putting fabric back down. But we do have some potatoes planted back there and some Mississippi pink eye purple hole peas. I need to come back through here, the windstorm last night came through, and I'll have to staple all this back down. And yeah, I put it on grass here, but we'll just dig those holes out and then uh, dig them out. I'm taking a, I'm torching out a hole in them about like this. And I'm doing this because I can dig it out without hurting the fabric. And then put in rabbit manure and things of that nature. So we've got Mississippi pink eye peas here that we got from Southern Blessed Homestead. And then we have like 17 potato eyes that we cut up and planted down through here. Yeah, and I need to come in here and weed some too. And I've got two layers of fabric here because I'll come through here and I'll plant like zucchinis, another six foot, plant squash, another six foot. And I'm doing that because they need it. If you don't, they will grow into each other and it's just a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's a lesson we learned last year, growing with the fabric. Now we put our rows, well they're three foot apart, because of the fabric, and that works great. We absolutely love it. Very minimal weeding. 
he gets everything done. But uh, if you put your zucchini and your squash that close together, their long leaves will get into each other. And then when you're trying to walk between them, it's almost impossible not to step on them. Not like that, it's always a big deal to step on them. But uh, we put them six foot apart this year to alleviate that. Just a tip if somebody needs it. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. See you next time. God bless.